Well, have you ever had one of those days where everything's going great? You're mowing your grass, your mower's working pretty good, although it sputters sometimes and been blowing a little black smoke, but you notice it ain't got the power like it used to. And you come back out a little bit later, just to finish up your job, and your mower does this. And it just doesn't want to run, but one thing you do notice, your exhaust is blowing out a lot of black smoke like this. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it for about 49 cents. So when that happens, a lot of people get frustrated and they just figure their mower's no good and they chuck it in the landfill. And this is sometimes where I come along and I take these lawn mowers and I turn them back around and make them run like new again. Now for this video, I'm going to show you what you can do. Anybody can do this to get your little push mower back in business and save yourself about $150 so you don't have to go out and buy a new one. Okay, so the first thing we got to do here is go ahead and check the obvious. We got to go ahead and see if we have maybe a filter that's plugged up. And I got to tell you, I have neglected this mower. I've had it for about two years. I got it for free out of a junkyard. Made it look like new again. Of course, it needs cleaned up, and I'm now having some problems with it. And a lot of problems you get is when it sits over time in the winter, if you have a little bit of moisture that gets in the gas tank, you can get rust spots building up in these gas tanks, and that will suck that rust into the carburetor and start causing you some problems so we're going to go ahead and check the filter and uh, behold it's going to be dirty and of course yes it is dirty but still even with filters this dirty lawnmowers still will run to a point but we're going to replace it with a new filter anyway so here is the carburetor so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and check some things here Let's go ahead and check this here, make sure this is on okay, and I don't see nothing wrong here. And of course, I am missing the governor spring. I have just a little wire here. I am going to go ahead and buy a 12-pack of these little springs and put this on eventually. But for now, I have it set just about where it normally is when I mow the grass. So I know that's not a problem right now. The point is, this carburetor needs to be uh, pulled off. We need to replace a new gasket on here. And once we do that, I think we're going to be in great shape. Now here is what we're going to fix it with. This is a little magic trick that will fix about any little push mower when you start having some issues with it. As long as it's not smoking really bad, you have a rod knocking or you run it out of oil and lock the engine up. Uh, most cases you just need to replace a gasket. Now I bought all of these here. You got 10 of them for uh, 5 bucks. So it turns out to be about 49 cents a piece or so, 50 cents. And here is one of the gaskets that we're going to be replacing. So. Uh, Go ahead and get to it and show you it's not as hard as you think. All right, first thing we got to do is go ahead and get some bolts off here. We'll get to get this cover off. This is a 10 millimeter here socket. Now, sometimes people have worked on it before. You might find different size bolts and nuts on here, but we're going to take these three out on the top case first. All right, so there's one. All right, so there's that one, and thankfully that one's a 10, too. And, of course, on the front, someone's got a different size, 11 millimeter, but they're all the same type of bolt. Now, in this particular model, you have a guard back here for the cutoff switch, the kill switch cable. Uh, sometimes you have to take this out, sometimes you don't. On this one, I don't think you have to. We'll find out. All right, so off it comes. So we'll put this out of the way. And for now, I'll go ahead and hook my little wire. I know I'm guilty. I need to get a spring, but if you have a spring, go ahead and take your spring off, put it in a little plastic bag, and label it. Don't lose it, because these springs for different motors are different types of tension, so you want to make sure you put the original spring back on. And now what we got to do is go ahead and start taking up a couple more bolts here. And on the front here, we have a 10 millimeter. I believe this one's probably supposed to be in the case. I had 13. We'll, we'll fix that and put them all the same size in the case a little bit later. We'll get that out of there. And now we'll go ahead and take our main gas tank bolt off, which is right here. Now remember, you got a bracket right here. Make sure you put this back on the right way because this protects this little rod. And this here is a 13 millimeter bolt. Hey, let me know where you're watching from tonight, or today. 
put that off to the side and now all we got to do is pull our gas tank off wiggle it and there it is and like i said remember where this goes sometimes a lot of people forget to put that back on and now we'll lift this up and we'll tip this and there's a rod we'll slide this rod down and out like that got that disconnected and that's all there is to it and our gas tank is off and now we're ready to work on our carburetor now before we get too far do yourself a favor on the back here go ahead and pull this out these rings because if you lose these you'll have a problem these actually go right here we'll put those on here in a little bit and now we're ready to take our carburetor off and now we'll go ahead and take out all of these Phillips screws there are five of them and you might want to go ahead and pull this little guy here off put it off the side and I bet you this carburetor gasket is in pretty bad shape all right so all we gotta do now is lift this up and out it comes and yep Oh, look at the gooey stuff down in there. Oh, yeah, and look at this gasket. They'll, it, don't be surprised you have to pull and it'll tear. Because when they're old like this, they tear a lot. Oh, this gasket's shot. Look at it. All shriveled up. Yeah, it's got problems. And look at the dirt. Our emotion tube here, filters, got dirt on it. And if you look down in here, this little hole. There is a ton of dirt in there. So we'll put this gasket out of the way. We'll flip this upside down, get these bolts here so we don't lose these. And we'll just start cleaning this up. All right, so we'll go ahead and dump this gas out. And I'm using a rag and I'm putting this back into my lawnmower little jug here. I reuse all the old gas. As long as you filter, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's get this out of here. And there's a bunch of stuff that just came out of the tank also. Can you see that little hole right there? Look at that dirt in there. Yikes. And we'll clean all this out of here as much as we can. All right, we'll let that settle down. All right, so there's that. And we'll put our gas off to the side for now. All right, so we got the gas tank pretty clean. I don't know if you can see down in there, but you see the little specks? That is rust on the bottom of that gas tank. This happens a lot. These tanks are aluminum, but they're not 100% aluminum. You get a little bit of water or moisture in there, and like I said, if it sets all winter, it'll start to rust, and rust will get sucked up in that carburetor. And I find half of the time that's what happens. But for now, we're going to clean this out. Look at that. Oh. Now I'm using just simple carburetor throttle body cleaner. All right, we'll slosh that around in there really good. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's pretty dirty. So we'll do our best here. We'll clean this up nicely. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. A lot of this black here is just paint. But as long as this is not pitted, you're in good shape. There may be some stains here, but don't worry about it. Just make sure there's no dirt in there. Maybe take some compressed hair, blow it out. But if not, take a Q-tip and just make sure it's nice and clean. So this tank is all cleaned out. And now we're ready to go ahead and look at that gasket real quick and carburetor. All right, so as I look at this carburetor, it's pretty dirty. So we'll clean this out here as much as we can. Check your squirter there. It squirts pretty good. So we don't have any holes here, which is great. Clean the underside here really good. Clean this filter here now a lot of people forget to take this filter off because you have a little motion tube in here just the slightest speck of dirt will cause your engine to quit running let's pull this off and look at it and see a little white thing right there that is your tube believe it or not as nice and small as this filter here is sometimes particles can still get through it doesn't take much and you can see how small that hole is down in that motion tube there can cause you problems. So we'll clean it out really good here. Same principles with all carburetors. And looks good here. We'll clean all this out really good. All right, we'll put this off the side and let it dry. And lastly, take your screen and look. Verify that it's not torn. There are no holes in it and you should be okay. Clean it out. Turn it upside down and spray the 
underside and the sides so the stuff, if there's anything in here, will come out. You don't want to spray in because you're not doing any good. So we'll spray this downward. Blow it if you have to. Make sure there's nothing down inside there. That's the whole idea. You want to get everything out that's in there. And by Georgie, she looks really clean to me. I don't know about you, but it looks very good. So all we got to do now is go ahead and put this back on our carburetor. Since our carburetor is nice and dry, check your motion tube one more time. Make sure there's nothing there. And now we'll let's slide this on like this. Push this down. And we are good. And one more time. Spray it one more time. And I think we are going to be in really good shape. So we'll let this carburetor dry now. And I'll probably go ahead and clean this up just a little bit more. It's mainly just cosmetic. But other than that, we're about ready to put our new gasket on. All right, so here's our new gasket we're going to put on. But I just wanted to show you inside this here. These are so nice to have. Just to keep around because you never know. Look at this. Oh, kind of like a candy store. Actually, you know what? I think I might have gotten 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, maybe I did. But anyway, this is what we're going to put on. And hopefully, this will help you out tremendously. All right, so we'll clean this up one more time. Looks good. Say goodbye to our old gasket. You've been served well. And now, we'll put our new one on. Now, I just threw that old gasket away. Don't do that because what you want to do is go back and verify where these two actually go together. Ah, it's a good thing you stayed around for the video. So you can see this actually went like this. And on the back side, you have this little thinner gasket. So we'll just kind of put that off the side like that. The thin one goes on the bottom like this, like that. There we go. And then we'll kind of kind of match them up there a little bit. Like this. And now we'll go ahead and put this on like that. So uh, there we go. We'll put that just like that. Looks good. So now we can say bye-bye. And now we'll take our carburetor, double check it one more time, make sure it's clean on the bottom, no debris. And now we'll go ahead and slide this on like this. And now we're ready to put our little screws back in. Now I'll tell you something you might want to do is when you're putting this all back together, take your gas cap lid and go ahead and stick it on because you'd be surprised how many times you can get dirt knocked down in there when you're not paying attention. And now we'll go ahead and tighten up all the screws on this carburetor. All right, so there's our last screw. So we'll go ahead and snug all these down real quick. And now we'll go ahead and snug them, turn, give them a quarter turn all the way around. And we'll verify just to make sure they're good here. I think we're going to be great. Ta da! And that's it, my friend. You just rebuilt your carburetor and cleaned it out. All right, now before we bolt this on, just kind of look in here, turn it upside down, make sure nothing fell down in there when you weren't looking. Check the other side, check the choke. And I think we're ready to put this on and see if this fixed our fix.
and now we're on our last bolt how about that so that was about a 45 minute job if this mower runs like it did before like it was brand new i think it's well worth it all right so it's all back together i got my governor spring pretty much where it was before like i said i'm gonna get a regular spring and put on here and also this is an on it's in no cracks in it or anything we're good there and i will have to eventually get a filter but for now we're just going to see if it runs so let's go ahead and put some gas in it and see if it starts up on the first pull or even the second pull all right so we got gas in it and i always filter the gas because you don't want any debris in there that's for sure all right get a cap back on i will and set this governor spring temporary spring to where i normally keep it not terribly high not terribly low sort of in between and now we're going to see if this thing starts up it should start with the carburetor filter off all right so let's primer a couple of times here i'll say she'll start on the second or third pull i don't think it'll start on the first but you never know How about that my friend just replace your carburetor gasket and it'll save you a lot of headaches so uh, i'm happy i uh, got it done and hopefully this video helps you out give it a thumbs up if it did and until my next video guys thanks for watching and i will see you later and i will get a new filter and all that good stuff